my name is Miss Debbie, and I want to welcome you to Life Church Kids Online. I'm so glad that you chose to join us today as we worship together and dive into God's Word. It is going to be amazing. I hope you're ready because the fun starts now. Today we're continuing our series called Never Forget. 
We're learning some very important things that God wants us to never forget. I have a question for you, but don't answer it out loud. Hey Ryan, I can't get Topher to come for the video. What? Why? I don't know. He says he did something really bad. Uh, I better go talk to him. Hey buddy, talk to me. Come on, it can't be that bad. Why don't you tell me what it was? Alright, Topher, I know. I promise it's gonna be okay. What? My electric razor? Topher, why would you even... Okay, it's okay. I can get a new one. Are you okay, though? Yeah, I, I know I was mad for a second, but it's okay. I love you. I forgive you. No, why don't we go start today's lesson together? Who is the worst sinner you know? No, Topher, not you. But some of you probably thought of someone, right? Maybe it was that bully from school, or it could be a friend. Some of you may have even thought of yourself, but no matter who you thought of, and no matter how many sins they committed, they are never too much of a sinner for God to forgive. And that's what we're going to learn about today. But first, let's go to our friend, Kevin, Mr. Forgot It All. Kevin was about to graduate, then he suffered quite a twist of fate. A donut hit his head and he took a fall, he became Mr. Forgot It All. Hey everyone, Kevin here. You know, your friend who has amnesia. I feel like I'm getting closer to graduation. I'm going and meeting with the principal. Hopefully I can take my test and graduate. Now I bet you're wondering why I'm here. Well, I'm waiting on my tutor, Tony. Where is that guy anyway? Mm -hmm. Whoa, hey, kid, what are you doing here? I've been waiting on you for hours. Really? Huh, sorry, I guess, I guess I forgot. Looks like maybe I got amnesia. Amnesia. That's what I said, amusha. Amnesia. Amne- Forget about it! Well, what are we doing here? Alright kid, today... Oh, that's good. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to chew gum. I know how to chew gum. Okay then, show me. There you go. Yo. Yeah, just take one day. What? <clears throat> okay, how was that? Terrible. Well, it was funny to watch, but here, let me show you how it's done. First, you don't eat just one stick. You put the whole thing in your mouth. That's why it comes in slices, like a pizza. Um, well, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Forget about it. Here, take the whole pack. Okay. Now, take off the wrappers and eat it all. Kind of hard to chew. How do I do? I do good, kid. Thanks for asking. No, it's hard to chew. Do I have the flu? Kid, I haven't been sick since 89. I, I can't this. What happened? You were doing great. No, I'm done. I'm mad at the guy who threw the donut and gave me amnesia. He deserves amnesia, not me. Whoa, whoa, kid. Sounds like you haven't forgiven him yet. No, I haven't, and I never will. Look at me. I can't even chew a whole pack of gum at the same time. I know, it's hard, kid. Forgiving someone is probably one of the hardest things to do. How would you know? Hey, Tony's had to forgive lots of people. Like who? Like this one time, me and my little brother went to this Italian restaurant, and he got five shrimp on his spaghetti. I only got four. Totally unfair. So you forgave the waiter? No, I forgave the shrimp. Why'd they have to get on his plate, not mine? This isn't helping. Okay, listen, listen. I was just reading in my Bible today this really cool story about a thief that got forgiven. 
By who? Whom, Kevin. It's by whom. <sighs> okay, Tony, forgiven by whom? By Jesus. And this was when he was on the cross. Wow. You mean while he was dying, he forgave someone? He did. And that's what the kids are going to learn about in the lesson today. Maybe you should listen. It might help you forgive your donut chunka. Well, sounds good to me. Let's go, kid. I can't. Why not? I, I can't. I sat in that giant gum wad from earlier and now I'm stuck. Oh, huh, really? Well, I guess that means I can go get another Slurpee. Good luck, kid. Wait, what? Bye! He became Mr. Forgot It All. No matter how bad we think a person is, they are never too bad that God can't forgive them. And there's never a time where God can't forgive you either. We're going to learn more about that in our lesson today. Let's get started. Hey guys, today I want to tell you a Bible story from Luke chapter 23. And just so you understand the background of it, it was one of the lowest points in Jesus' life. Jesus had come into Jerusalem and the Sadducees were so angry and upset with him because the people were listening to what he had to say. They were so jealous, so this is what they did. They paid one of Jesus' disciples, Judas, and for only 30 pieces of silver, Judas led the soldiers to where Jesus was praying. They arrested Jesus, put him on trial, and then they sentenced him to death on the cross. And that's where we find Jesus at the beginning of today's story. Well, Jesus is now to the cross. He's hanging there between two thieves, and these two thieves were guilty of many crimes. But Jesus was totally innocent. Suddenly, one of the thieves began to make fun of Jesus. He screamed, if you're the king of the Jews, save yourself, in a really condescending way. But Jesus didn't respond. He said nothing. Suddenly, the other thief began to take up for Jesus. He said, stop it. Don't you see? We are guilty, but he isn't. Then he spoke directly to Jesus. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This man understood that Jesus was the Son of God. He knew that Jesus was going to heaven. He wanted to honor Jesus with his last breath. Jesus turned to the thief that had just honored him. And he said, today you will be with me in paradise. What? How could this man who was a sinner, a thief, be with Jesus in paradise after what he had done? Wasn't it too late for him? Wasn't he too bad for Jesus to save? No, not at all. Today we're going to learn that there's absolutely no one that's too bad for Jesus to save. Pay attention to the lesson today. It could mean life or death for someone that you know who still needs to accept Jesus as their Savior. No matter who you are or what you've done, it's not too late. When Jesus is in your life, then you can say, I'm forgiven. All right, let's head over to Trivia Tracy for today's Power Verse. <laughs> Trivia Tracy, and I'll have you know I never forget anything. In fact, I have entered into an intense trivia contest every week since the fourth grade, and I have never lost a trivia contest ever. My friends call me a know-it-all, but they don't know. And I tell you what, to prove how great I am at trivia, how about I try to stump you right now? Here's a question from last week's trivia contest I won. Do you know how many peppermint patties can fit inside the belly of a hammerhead shark? give up. It's 1,312. That was a tough one to find out the answer to, but it was so worth it when I won the Sharks and Sweets trivia contest of 2007. And you know what? Well, you probably don't, but I sure do. Here's something else I'll never forget. Today's power verse. It says, the Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 
2 Peter 3, 9. That is one unforgettable power verse. Of course, I wouldn't forget it anyways. Now I need all the girls to stand up and say it with me. Trivia Tracy on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. The Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 2 Peter 3, 9. Great job, you can have a seat. Now I need all the boys to stand up and say the power verse with me on the count of three. One, two, three. The Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 2 Peter 3, 9. That power verse is so true. It doesn't take a 217 time trivia contest champion to know that. It's so important that you never forget that you are all forgiven. All you have to do is admit you're guilty, ask Jesus for help, and receive his forgiveness. Isn't that great? Now I need everyone to stand with me and say the power verse one more time on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. The Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 2 Peter 3, 9. Good job, you can have a seat. Now I've got to get back to studying for the next trivia contest. I have a stack of encyclopedias and dictionaries to read by next Tuesday. I'm Trivia Tracy and I'll see you later, boys and girls. Time. Sometimes it can be on our side. Like the last few seconds of class on the last day of school when it's almost summer break. We love time then, right? But sometimes it is not on our side. Like when we're running late. Have you guys ever been late to something? I'll tell you a story. This one time I was going on a trip to Alabama and I needed to get to the airport at a certain time. But I was running late. And do you know what happens when you're running late to the airport? The plane does not wait for you. And I got there late and the plane had already left. Being late is not fun. In our Bible story today, we learned about a man who a lot of people thought it was way too late for. The man on the cross that was a thief, he had lived a whole life of sin. A lot of people looked at him and thought, what a loser, he's messed up. He can't do anything to turn his life around. He got what he deserved. But Jesus saw this same thief but he saw him differently. He saw a man that needed God's forgiveness. The man asked Jesus to remember him when he went to his kingdom. And Jesus replied by saying, today you will go to paradise with me. That was a shocker statement. But Jesus proved that it is definitely not too late for this man. We can learn a lot from this thief. We can learn that if we wanna turn our life around, it's possible and there are some steps that we can take. The first step is to admit you are guilty. The thief admitted that he had sinned and we all sin. We might be thinking, well, I haven't done anything that bad. It's not like I robbed somebody or killed anyone. And even though that's true, we all sin. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we wanna be saved, we have to admit that we have messed up and sinned. That's what the thief did, and that's what we have to do. Miss Stephanie, can you tell us the next step? Absolutely, Miss Heather. We do have to admit our sins, but that is not all. What did the thief do next? He turned to Jesus and he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The thief was full of sin and he knew that he was full of sin but he knew that there was one person that could help him with that sin, and that was Jesus. So the thief took the second step that we must take in order to turn our lives around. Ask Jesus for help. When you are guilty of sin, you need to turn to Jesus. Jesus is the only one who has never sinned. He is perfectly innocent. And all you have to do is simply call out to Jesus and say, I am a sinner, Jesus. I need your forgiveness and I need you to change my life. Jesus will hear that prayer just like he heard the thief. Do you remember what he said to the thief? He turned to him and he said, today I tell you the truth. You will enter paradise with me. That is incredible. The thief 
called out to Jesus for help, for forgiveness, and Jesus heard him and said, you will be with me in paradise. The thief admitted his sin. He asked Jesus for help. And then he took the third and final step. He received God's forgiveness. Each of us must believe that we receive God's forgiveness when we ask for it. And when we believe this, something amazing happens. The thief was like many of us. He spent his life doing things his way. And when he did that, he found himself full of sin. Sin messes up our lives. The Bible says that sin is what keeps us from God. The thief's life was full of sin and many people thought it was too late for him. I mean, after all, he was hanging on a cross getting ready to die. I bet a lot of people thought it was too late for him, but it wasn't. Jesus heard his cry. The thief admitted his sin. He asked God for forgiveness and something amazing happened. When Jesus forgave him, all of his sins disappeared and he was transformed. And even though he spent his entire life running from God, it wasn't too late for God to forgive him. It is never too late for God to forgive us and none of our sins are too hard for God to forgive. Do you need forgiveness for sins today? It's okay to admit your sin. And then you need to ask Jesus to help you and receive God's forgiveness. God, we thank you so much that it is never too late for you to change our lives. Thank you, God, that when we ask for forgiveness, you hear our prayer, Lord, and you answer it immediately. You immediately transform us, Lord, and we are immediately clean and free from sin. We're so thankful, Lord, that you love us that much. I pray for my friends today, Lord. I pray that you will give them the reminder that it is never too late to seek forgiveness. Help them, Lord, to come to you and ask for forgiveness and be free of their sin. Thank you, Lord, for doing that for us. Thank you, Lord, for never, ever turning your back on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn it over to Brain Drain, and let's see what you remember. Wow, that was such a powerful lesson. Well, let's see if you remember what we hoped you would never forget. If you know the answer to the questions, just shout them out. Let's get started. Question one. What is our never forget message for today? I am forgiven. Jesus can forgive you. Or Jesus can forgive every single sin. And the answer is, Jesus can forgive every single sin. That's right, Cooper. Even the one with my electric shaver. He can forgive that one. Question two. How many thieves were crucified with Jesus? Two, three, or six? And the answer is two. Were both thieves believers in Jesus? Yes or no? And the answer is no. Next question. What did the thief ask Jesus to do when he entered his kingdom? Play kickball? Say hi to God? Or remember him? And the answer is, remember him. You know what? I think that could be kickball in, uh, in heaven too. What do you think? That would be fun. Next question. Did Jesus forgive the thief? Yes or no? The answer is yes. According to our lesson today, the first step is admit you are blank. Wrong, guilty, or the best? And the answer is guilty. 
I think you're the best two over. Next question. According to our lesson today, the second step is ask Jesus for blank. Strength, a pet turtle, or help. And the answer is help. Yeah, a pet turtle would be pretty cool, but I gotta think about it. Next question. According to our lesson today, the third step is receive God's blank. Is it advice, peace, or forgiveness? And the answer is forgiveness. True or false? God can forgive anyone. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Last question. Where was our power first found? Matthew 6.33, John 6.12, or 2 Peter 3.9? And the answer is 2 Peter 3.9. Great job, guys. Hope you had fun today. We'll see you next time. Bye. What? My electric razor? I forgive you. You know this is coming out of your allowance, though.